Netflix shares are facing pressure after it announced yesterday that it would no longer be sharing quarterly membership average, uh, numbers or average revenue per user reports starting next year. This quarter saw a substantial rise in total memberships to nearly 270 million, way above Wall Street's expectations. Joining us now is Tom Rogers, Newsweek editor at large, Orbit Gaming executive chairman, former NBC cable president, and a CNBC contributor, also a friend of the show, of course. Tom, great to see you. Great to be here, Melissa. Thanks. In, in terms of, of stopping those metrics, what does that tell you? Well, the Crown series may be over in terms of uh, Netflix airing a great show, but they are the triple crown winner when it comes to subs, when it comes to uh, profitability, and when it comes to viewer engagement. And I don't blame them at all for wanting to focus on viewer engagement. Um, they uh, produced by themselves more TV shows than the entire TV industry produced in 2006. And they have more hit shows than all of their competitors combined. But this notion that they're going to focus on engagement as opposed to subs just doesn't make any sense to me. Since when is the number of homes you reach not important to engagement? You got to know the denominator of what your potential reach is to know how shows are now performing relative to how shows uh, in, in the past were performing. I can't imagine advertisers saying, well, it doesn't really matter to us how many homes you're in from an advertisement in terms of the number of people that take your ad tier. Do you have 23 million subs that have exposure to your ad tier? Or do you have 35 million homes? They're going to insist on that kind of information. And once advertisers start insisting on what that home reach is, uh, not only in the United States, but all markets uh, where they're going to be selling advertising, I think that those numbers are going to become available and people are going to be able to aggregate it back into uh, what uh, what membership numbers are. So I don't I don't really quite get say I'm going to focus on engagement, but we're not going to give you the denominator in terms of our reach, particularly when scaled reach in such a fractured right. media market. So, Tom, do you think that there's something – what do you think this says, though, about the strength of the business? you think this is, this is them saying the growth story is, is, is over or the growth story is different or, or what? Uh, I mean, the uh, stock I'm is down because I think there's a frustration about this for the, for the reasons you're describing, but – what do you think is the motivating factor behind it in terms of what Netflix is trying to do to reorient the investor uh, mind around their numbers? Well, when you do something like this, there's always a presumption that something's being hidden that isn't going to look as good as it did. And uh, I think it's probably pretty obvious that's average revenue per per subscriber because you're, they're going to be adding a lot more subs in uh, markets, particularly in Asia, which have uh, lower revenue per sub. The ad tier, uh, as they said on the call, is going to take some amount of time, my guess is a uh, considerable amount of time, before the revenue that they're getting from an advertising home uh, matches what they're currently getting from a non-advertising home, particularly given how successful they've been on raising price in the non-advertising uh, subscription homes. Uh, so that number is going to go down. It's a, been a closely watched number. I, you know, they're, they're hitting on all cylinders. I'm as bullish on Netflix as I've ever been. And this is a, a metric that isn't going to look as good. But I still don't get it. If you're going to focus people on engagement, as they should, they got the number one original show, number one movie, number one acquired show for over 40 weeks of a 52-week year. Their engagement is great. But if you're really going at advertising and its growth, the advertiser is going to want to know what that universe is to be able to make comparisons as to how shows are actually doing. Are we making too much of this, though, Tom? I mean, the stock is down six and a quarter percent. And granted, going into the earnings release, it was up 25 percent year to date. So a little bit might be just the run that it had prior to the earnings release. But we were speaking to Rich Greenfield yesterday of Light Shed on, on Fast. He was saying, you know, it's not like we're not going to get any information on, on subs. We will get the information on subs. We'll have the revenue number. The information on subs may, might not be quarterly, but we'll get some information and we'll be able to figure out the map at some point. So you will have some visibility, although maybe not as timely as we have been getting. Is there too well, much of a discount? I think what Rich was referring to is that Netflix did indicate when they hit certain milestones, they'll talk about right. sub numbers. But uh, again, if you're an advertiser in Japan and you want to know if uh, Netflix is in 
10 million homes or 20 million homes in terms of the kind of reach it has. Every advertiser in every major market is going to be looking at that kind of information. I can't imagine they're going to say to an advertiser, sorry, you can't have that. And, you know, the, the information is going to be out in the marketplace in some form, I would think. I just can't imagine them, them uh, as they're trying to grow an ad tier, stiff advertisers on the, on the reach in any given market of, of the ab advertising uh, subs. So... I, I, re I really don't I don't get it. It, it uh, certainly uh, makes sense for them to focus the market uh, for earnings purposes on the key things that they want the earnings uh, metrics to be. And uh, this notion that somehow second quarter guidance was disappointing when on a, a foreign exchange neutral basis, they're going to grow revenue 21 percent is, is kind of silly. Uh, so, you know, they're hitting on all cylinders. They're doing great. They're, they're, they're the kings of streaming media. Uh, th this is just a bit of a head scratcher to me.